you will remember in the sort of cyber libertarian, the, the, the golden dawn of cyber libertarian optimism in the 1990s, um, uh, President Bill Clinton said that for China to try to control the internet would be like trying to nail jello to the wall. <laughs> and you know what? The Chinese Communist Party turned around and said, Bill, just watch us. And I have to tell you that in the last 15 years, the Chinese Communist Party has made a pretty good stab at nailing jello to the wall. I describe this at length in my book, a Harvard study of China's internet censorship uh, suggests, I think plausibly, that this is the largest apparatus of censorship in human history. For a very simple reason. Because of the internet and smart, there is so much more speech, so much more expression to be controlled, that if you're going to keep on top of it, you have to have an enormous apparatus. And it is extraordinary. Some of you will know a book of mine called The File, about my experience of reading my own Stasi file. Amazingly, this book has been published by a publisher in China, a very enterprising liberal publisher. They organized a, a, what we call a, um, an, a live web chat. So you're responding to readers' queries on one of the CNA, or Chinese online platforms in real time. People post questions, and we could see, as we sat at the computer, how some of them just disappeared before our eyes. This is being done by a, an individual sensor inside this big internet platform, Sina, Sina Weibo, because every internet platform in China is obliged to have its own sensors in-house. But still some very interesting questions stayed up, like, for example, we know the Berlin Wall has come down. When will the Great Firewall of China come down? Uh, so I give my answer. It's interpreted. The publisher types it in very, very quickly. It goes up there. Sometimes it disappears. Sometimes it doesn't. Then the censor rings up my publisher and says, please, ask, please don't ask him the sensitive questions. So the publisher says, of course not, puts down the phone and says, go on asking him the sensitive questions. So. In China, you see this tremendous struggle that is going on, literally minute by minute, between citizens and activists, like the great Liu Xiaobo, now in prison Nobel Prize winner, who are really fighting for free speech every day, every minute, and this huge sensorial apparatus. But as I say, at the moment, the party state is winning. And I think there's quite a sobering lesson there that a powerful, determined authoritarian state can actually effectively uh, nullify, at least for now, all the liberating possibilities of the internet. Putin's Russia is doing a pretty good job too. Mm -hmm.